Got it, got it, got it, got it, hard body, got these world, we some mob bosses. Tune in, don't just come across. We do it all, y'all just for the talk. Might lose your mind when you hear these topics, no cap, think about it. Who you know going this hard, all real, always think about it. Best interview, so is this? We don't do all this, that entrepreneurship. Come and link, join a viewership. Education, relationships, businesses, beauty clips. This the Midwest takeover, going over time to invent, I'm focused. Bring a guest in from all over, whole lot of game, we don't need a closer. Got it, got it, got it, got it, hard body, got these world, we some mob bosses, turn them else to lessons, we don't do the losses, dedication daily, ain't no other options, booking up these lots on every show we plotting, pull up a chair, make sure you watching, subscribe, get them notifications popping, pull up all the champagne, we gon' get it popping. Yeah, what's going on y'all, this your boy Gotti, on the Gotti's World Show, man, I'm back, I am back, man, I took a little quick hiatus, man, had to get some, had to get my mind right, had to get everything together, man, but I'm here, man, y'all know I ain't going nowhere no time soon, I'm always working, whether I'm doing this or whether I'm, you know what I'm saying, hosting events, whether I'm festivals, whatever, I'm doing something, just know I'm doing something, and I'm gonna bring y'all the dopest people that y'all need to know y'all should have been new, you know what I mean, I don't know about other podcasts, but you know what I'm saying, y'all know y'all can always count on me in every way possible, you did? You feel? But look, check this out, man. Ah, oh, this guest here, man. It's a long time coming, man. This brother, man, uh, came on my radar when he hit me and said, hey, you know anything about, you know what I'm saying, your financial state? <laughs> I said, fuck is he talking about? Then he like, man, I got this, man, I got this going on, I got this formula going on, I, ha I got something in the tuck. I got something to tuck, and I need to get it out, man. I need to get it out. Man, you know what I'm saying? Us as a people, we kind of behind on the financial side, on the knowledge. So I got to get to him. So I said, okay, I hear, I hear, I hear that. But then he gave me a call. Mm. That call. Yeah, we did talk, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and he put me on some game, man, uh, with this banking, trust, these trusts, man. And he broke some shit down, and I was just like, I, I, I got to we gotta do it. Yeah, like we gotta do it, and, it and it's time for it. And it's time for it, man. My man, Walt knows money is in the building. What's up, brother? The, the prices of everything that I bought. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm mad now. I, I pay too much. Nah, shit. Hey, but you know how it go. I'm last. Last week was rocky though. Last week was rocky. I on the stocks? No, on the crypto. On the crypto. So the stocks is what you do with the profits. Okay. Okay. If you if you hustling Talk in any way, hustling in any form, you can invest your money in the stocks. That's like your safe because they're gonna grow slow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And you already see the companies. You buy tissue every day, every month, whatever. Yes, sir. Toothpaste, diapers. That's the shit that you're supposed to dip your money into. And that because that ain't gonna never go nowhere. And we, they gonna, know it's needed. It's gonna be free by the time the next generation babies get here. Now we eating off of Johnson Johnson stock. See what I'm saying? Like if you go to McDonald's, if you still go to McDonald's, then you could be eating McDonald's for free by buying the stock. The dividends are pay for the meal every month. Ooh. See what I'm saying? You talking? See, this is why this is why this had to happen. Like this is exactly like why baby this products. Happened. You can't go wrong with baby products though. Well, Investing shit, they running products. out of baby products now. They never run out of baby products because they gonna keep making babies. I understand that, but what I'm saying, they oh, on a the load. Stores. Yeah, so they, they 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 on a. From what I hear, it's a um shortage on formula. Hmm. You know what I mean? I ain't heard that. Okay. But uh, they, 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 the government is no, dipping they gonna, they money, gonna find a dipping a money, finding a whole bunch of money to, you know what I mean? Find other little, you know, supplements <laughs> and other places that provide that. Finding ain't the word. Supplement is right. Or not subsidize is the word they use. Subsidize. <laughs> That's what they get. They get a cut for getting in your business. You That's did. how they use you that. You know how they go. But you know, but we gonna change that game. We changing that game. Next year, everybody that's not ready need to get ready. All the people that's in position now need to just look a little harder. So right now, if you're in the crypto, this gonna be a way for you to create your own money. Right? I still I still I'm still shaky uh, about that. It's already being done. It's just you're not doing it. People, you gotta think, how many people not doing what you doing, but they want to, and ain't shit stopping them but them. And that's a fact, and that is that is definitely a fact, but what I'm saying is the only reason why it's stopping me is because of the lack of knowledge. 
that's the only thing that could ever stop you. But guess what? When you learn how to manifest quicker, because obviously you didn't manifest it a lot so yes, far. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. But the, for those who can hear me and see me on this frequency, the word manifest means intelligence I gather. The word man doesn't doesn't mean male, dude, boy, guy. It means intelligence. All mankind, all, 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 all right? Mm. Then I, the singularity, it, and then the word fest. The word fest means festive, festival, festivity, to gather. Mm. Intelligence, I gather. Everything that you could think about doing right now is a thought that came from something that already exists. So you literally could do it right now, whatever it is. You just yeah. got to pull the resources, find yeah. the resources, research, read, think, pay attention. My next series I make is going to be called Pay Attention. Okay. And I'm going to walk people through my big deal with the private banking. So like you said, we got a lack of financial literacy. I call it financial development because we got to relearn what they yeah. gave us and then we got to put our own mix on it and then we take off. And we make it, and we make it what you it know? is. So that's my thing. I'm like, I'm looking to get this abandoned schools in the city. Yeah. You know, they shut a lot of schools down over the last few years. My thing is to get the schools with my nonprofit and create institutions where you can send your kids there. I'm going to have 24-hour daycare. I'm looking for partners, investors on all of this because this you got to be the change. Yes, sir. But who's thinking about how to change. They're just thinking about getting change. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, And then money is not paper cash dollars, and everybody need money because money's energy. You see what I'm saying? What we, you mean by uh, money's Money's energy. electricity. It's energy. It's a force. Actually, I'm just trying to, I'm I'll, trying to, I'm trying to come you, on your, yeah, I'm trying to come on your level yeah. because I'm trying to understand where you, where you at. All right, so let's start with the dollar. First of all, hold on, 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 hold on. before we get there. They wanted. I, I want to get into you first, and then we jump oh, into okay. that. All right. I'm, where, <laughs> where exactly are you from? Where, where you from, bro? Because they gonna be like, where this nigga come from with all this? I'm from the city. I'm from Chicago land. Let me let me make that clear. Because I was a kid, I moved every three years growing up. So I didn't stayed over east. I didn't stayed on the low. I didn't stayed over west. I didn't stayed in the burbs. So I literally can say I'm from Chicago land. You see what I'm saying? Straight up. You know, but my guys on 99th and Charles. You know okay. what I'm saying? Shout out to the guys. And I grew up on 76 and Yates. Shout out to the guys over there. You see what I'm I played on the 103rd all the way from Western shit to the casino over that way. You know what I'm saying? Damn. So I, be, I move around. Why you move around so much? That's what I'm saying. As a kid, we moved around. So. Different schools, everything, all that shit. You remember when Chicago Heights was busting? Yeah. I lived in the keyhole. That's four heights. Well, wherever the fuck it was at, I was a kid. Yeah, you know that's four. Wherever right. the fuck it was at, with busting, that's why I lived there. See what I'm saying? Yeah. And I hated it out there. Yeah. Only not the people and the shit. I hated the, you know, because we had the candy store and the woo. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's when it. that's when shit was, you know, what I'm saying different back then. Right. But when I went to school, the teacher wrote on all my shit done ahead of time, penalized me for knocking out the workbook. I didn't like school ever since then, and I still yeah. honors classes all. I went to Morgan Park, and then I got kicked out of there taking people's shit. So I you know, went to the joint. After that, did good for a while. Then I just went back to the joint in 2013, got out in 19, and then since then I've been on an ascension because I sat there long enough to put the play together. So if you don't mind me asking, but we ain't gonna get into what, how, how did you get there, nothing like that. It's the whole point of what did you learn while you was in there? For the first time that you didn't, that, that you didn't learn the first time that you know that you learned the second time. Because when you I went in there the first time, hmm, obviously it was, was just that. It was, was just that. Yeah, <laughs> right. But something had to make you go back, and just, then something clicked and said, let me get out here and just start doing this, giving this information, picking this up. How did you I pick it up, self. and what did you learn? I found self, you know, and I had to spend a lot of time with myself. You know, when you get in trouble, and they're going to put you in a box for a few months. Mm. So that inevitably ended up happening. So I had time to think or whatever. When I was in the hole, that's when Nipsey died too. You know what I'm saying? I felt that, like I met the man, you know what I'm saying? Cause I saw what he, I saw the vision, you know? Yeah. But I would just say family. In one word, family. I felt what life and family brought to me and I was missing that, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And then when I came home, I actually got blessed to know what the definition of family mean. Cause just cause y'all blood, that just make you related. The word family means to be of service. See what I'm saying? Mm. So if you want to be, a, and it's always about being of service. The only way you can get help is when you help somebody else. And the only yeah. way for you to get something is to give something. You got to give first no matter what to get. Yeah. 
And see, that's actually what I've kind of learned that really it comes full circle with life because if you give, once you keep giving and you keep giving, your cup run over. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> you feel me? Like if you ain't like if you got a closed fist and you say I got something for you, but I have to what? Open my hand to receive. But if I'm so greedy or emotional or I'm blocked, whatever, I won't open my hand to receive the blessing. Mm -hmm. And this is majority of people. And majority of people think they the minority when they the majority of blind. The blind the majority is blind. Yeah. So what's really going on? And people ain't sticking in their lane, they going in a lane that's already been designed for them. And the blind is leading the blind. That's my credit repair people. That's, that's <laughs> what a, you mean? Whoa, wait a minute. That's a shot. That's a shot. It, it, is, is, a it shot. is a shot. It is a shot. It is a shot. Because I know I know some people and they, you know what I'm saying? They they really they delve into this credit, you know, things like that. But going into jumping into that is you say this crypto and things like that. That's gonna be the, the future. That's gonna be the future. Yeah, it's buying money. As, as a, as a regular guy, uh, uh, me, me, a regular guy, a regular guy, regular guy. All right, come on. I don't see where the fuck crypto, Bitcoin, any of that okay. is suitable for me. Hmm. But let me say, that's just my mind now. And as far as I can see now, I can't see in the future. I can't see my my vision. It doesn't go that far right now. Just right now. I'm not gonna say later. Gotcha. It could change tomorrow, but right now it doesn't. You know what I mean? I see that. And when I and then when you hear that, okay, yeah, you might hear the little chatter that money is gonna be gone soon. Money is gonna be gone soon. It's gonna be all about your credit. That's what that's that's what you hear. Whatever your credit is gonna be, be able to get you whatever, but you still have to obtain. You have to need money to obtain it, That's the case. right? But where the fuck does crypto and Bitcoin come in that we don't see? I don't know how to exchange you it. I don't know it. how to make it. <laughs> I don't. I don't know how to. I don't know how to do none of that. I don't know where it comes from. It's just over the internet, black market it's money shit. Money made out of thin air. Real shit. It's money made out of thin air. But so but people it. saying they got millions of it. Yeah. How? Because it's made. Out. You said th th this is all the thing there. So look, there's trillion, quadrillion, septillion, however many millions of United States dollars in the world, and they print that shit. They print it every but day. But they about to stop printing and start minting. So just how you got Cash App, you got PayPal. Those just wallets for you to send and receive payments, right? Yeah, right? easy. So crypto got the same thing. They got accounts and wallets for you to send and receive the crypto specifically, right? Mm, so some. And then you got to think crypto is an asset. So once you put that in the category of asset, now you think something that's going to make me money, something that's going to bring money and more income. Mm -hmm. And then you can have 12 different cryptos, which means you can have 12 different streams of income. And you don't have to bet the house on it. You can bet a dollar. Like, and I'm saying bet because you got to gamble on yourself with what you read, your research. And if you don't do the research, then you need to be around those people that let you copy and paste. I don't really like that, right? Because... Sometimes they can take the L. You follow them, you can't take the L. I just had some people that's that's following me right now follow the private banking uh, class that I got, and they took L's, right? One guy took a $1,500 L, and I know people can't afford to take these losses, but you mm -hmm. got to think, you taking a chance on learning for one and to learn how to acquire the assets because once you learn how to do it, guess what? You can repeat it. But they see me, I don't know if you've seen my story, but they see me showing them the deposit. Yeah. Like, and this is just off of the, the like, it's so much. But also, so much. It's I've so seen, much. but see, this is, this is, this is the shaky part. Like I said, the regular average guy, even, me, see you put deposits up with thousands of dollars, but I see the same shit with scammers and stuff like that. And they saying, I got your BOA, I got your, you know what I'm saying? I see the same deposit. I say, I'm like, well, what the fuck? Yeah. It can get. The frequency different when it comes to me though. But I, I, I just for, to keep it 100 yeah. in my head. I got, you know, I got some some scales of that shit on me, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I'm familiar with that, but that's the whole purpose of me doing what I do now. I understand the scam. I just made an acronym for scam the other day. All the shit people do for some cash and money, that's a scam. Shit.
Okay. And remember, okay. money is energy. Okay. Cash is right now. That's what cash means. It means ready box, ready right now. But that's a, actually, if once you think about it and when you say shit like that, that's like, it's dangerous at the same at the same time. Money is energy? Yeah, it's both ways. Because if a motherfucker got a lot of money, don't think his that, energy is, ain't that's he got big, big energy out here. Like he, he slaying it on the table and sometimes that could be, that, that could cause a nigga downfall. But that's too much of anything gonna fuck you over. That's a fact. You know, like for example, red lights. I be talk, thinking of consumer law, but about red lights though. If you run the red light, you got the power to stop. You got to have patience, all of that. But you can run that red light if you want, right? That's the power. That's the same exact power that you use with your money. Because every buck you get, you can fuck it off. Or you can invest it into an asset. Once you invest it into the asset, guess what? The dollar's inside of that. The dollar might drop in value. Go to 97 cents. Mm -hmm. But you don't care about the cash value anymore. Mm -hmm. You care about the asset. As long as you hold it, it's going to always be worth something. That's the mm -hmm. thing, teaching people value now. So, like, I be dropping kids off at school. Like, I do all types of shit. So, now I got a new little contract where I'm picking kids up and dropping them off at school. Mm -hmm. I teach them valuation because we didn't learn math a certain way. Like, this is going to be in my schools that I build. This is the new institutions that we need for our kids. Yes, sir. That's what I'm on, you know, because we got plenty of teachers that don't like to teach in the environment that's been – you know what I'm saying, given to them, and the kids don't respond, the room's crowded, just like they always been. Mm. So until somebody come up with a better curriculum, and it needs to be all STEM-based, everything that the kids learn, that need to be STEM-based. Science, technology, engineering, and math, and yeah. finance. Yeah, you know? they don't even have real estate classes in school. No but they, they don't, they the don't kids have will pick up on that. They already, in, they they know what a link card is, they know what a debit card is, they know what cash app is, Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? They know how to go and make a transaction. So they should be knowledgeable to making these transactions on how they affect themselves. Like my daughter, you talk to her, she, she, she about to be 10 on the 31st. Ask her what her asset is. Ask her what a liability is. Ask her what do you do with your assets. You put your assets in a trust. Because I'm like, we rich already. So it's like you just got to learn what to do with it. Because when you get older, I'm not going to be here. And I'm like, I'm like, who the number one player on my team? She like me. I'm like, why? Because she like, I got to get money besides you. I'm like, no, you don't got to get money besides me. You got to get money after me. That's what I want you to focus on because I'm laying down the foundation. Like we all are for, you know what I'm saying, our, our kids and our descendants and all that. Like I'm thinking 100-year, 200-year plan shit, and that's why mm -hmm. the crypto come in. Yeah. So I'm going to give you one name, and I'm going to stick to that on the crypto side. It's called Algorand. I heard of it. I just, when I just met him, I, I was looking at uh, on my Twitter, and guess who else uh, fuck with Algorand? Hmm. Davies. I said, oh, man, it's divine right here. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. I'm like, cause more he got more followers and fans, so that means he'll be able to put more attention to this for the people. Yeah. So right now, that's what just hit me last week. I lost like seven bucks on a down, but I still got some in there, so I just gotta wait for it to go back up. Like today, I made some back. I woke up, it was like sixty nine hundred, and then before I came here, maybe like seventy two, seventy three hundred. But that's just like playing with stocks, though. The difference is this, though. It's not because you can't eat your stock. I was just telling somebody this yesterday. There's a better way for you to fill it. Everybody. You you know how if you're gambling or you're hustling or somebody owe you? Yeah. And they try to give you something other than what you wanted or the cash, and you tell them what? Man, I can't eat no shoes. I can't eat this. I can't eat that. I want that cash. And nine times out of ten, you ain't even finna buy no food with it, but it's the fact that you know you come down to the necessities. You can, can get that with spent. the cash. It can be spent. So- Crypto is exactly that. It's a store of value. It's like gold. It's like it's, it's like all of the shit that you ever thought about investing in stocks, real estate. It's all of that. It's just in little bitty fractions, pieces. Think about it like that. It's just fractions. Like a house right now. You can break a house down, bag it up. like Just like I'm saying it. A $100,000 property, you can bag it up into a thousand pieces and sell them for $100 each. So that means you're going to get, what, the 100K, and then the people are all going to own a piece of that house, right? I'm following. I'm following. That's what the crypto allow you to do without all the paperwork, without all of the all that extra shit. It's literally, you got an account, you pay your $100. Now your account shows that you own a piece of the property. It's so sweet. And I was just in Hyde Park today. This uh, property, they got the name of the LLC is the name of the property, like 1115 East 52nd Street LLC. I'm like, that's clever, because now it's like the LLC is the the building. Mm -hmm. And then they go hand in hand with what I was just telling you. So I was like, I saw it. I was like, all right. So you can start an LLC, buy the property with the LLC. Then you can chop the asset up 
You don't got to give them the asset, though. See what I'm saying? You still control. You don't got to own it. You just got to control piece it. No. Because you got a piece of it. You don't even got a piece of it. You just controlling it. Remember, that's the name of this game. I don't need, I don't want No, everybody own. else has a piece of it because they, they, own, they own it. I just control it. So gotcha. now they're going to sit back and collect the passive income residuals off of the property. But now I got 100K to go grab another property. and To I do other things with. Chop it up, bust it down again. But imagine this. Let's say the property already cost 100000 And you tell everybody, right, y'all got to give us $300 to get a piece. The property costs 100 on the market right now. Yeah. But these investors going to pay 300 each a pop, and that's 300 k And you still, you got the cash, and you got the control of the property, and now they got, all got their ownership. Because everybody don't want to do the hard work. Everybody ain't trying to, they want the money, but they don't want to go and flip yeah, the they just want to, that, that's what an investor is. They don't want that, I, I don't want to, I don't want to deal with that. You deal with that and just bring me my return. Bring my return. That's it. That's all, that's all an investor is. But I got that. But it's just the whole point. I can't you wrap see your mind this. It. I can't wrap my I ha I can't see a regular, i.e. mailman <laughs> or anything. I've never seen or I can't wrap my mind around putting and I just talked to my man BJ uh, about this. Shout out my man BJ. He put investing ten or a hundred dollars in there and that shit turned into a hundred thousand. I can't see it. Huh. Well it's possible. I can't see it in in a in a, in a Bit in a Bitcoin or what? I can't see it. I might well just put the shit in the stock and know that I can pull it out and it's money that's going to be there that can be spent. What the hell can I spend crypto on? So the thing is, you don't have to spend crypto on anything. Like you can spend it with me, for example. I'll accept it because I know what it's worth. See what I'm saying? I see the value. Bitcoin, I'll accept it. Porsche, like a lot of companies are already accepting it now. Amazon, accept it. So it's going to become commonplace to actually accept cryptocurrency for transactions i've never tried can you have you ever tried have you ever tried buying something with with with, uh, with, with a crypto like i've never seen a buying a bike or anything like that and not getting no, a bike because of my crypto they shit. do it they do it just go look walmart it's amazon netflix a lot of them they about to switch over they, it's ain't nothing but a, a qr code and the money gets sucked right out your account but it's fractions just keep fractions in mind when you start to look into it Right, because you can only bust a dollar down to cents, but you can bust a cents down real far. Right, all gotcha. those numbers and zeros. Yeah, don't just say thirty of those points. That's in the back, right? Thirty of those points could be worth three hundred dollars. What it's the math? Hell? It's math, bro. Bro, <laughs> what the hell made you even want to get into this? Because I'm oh, 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 the money. I it's the future of money. It's the future of currency. So back to money. When I told you money was energy, yeah. So I, okay, let me back up some more. So January 7th this year, if you check my YouTube or my TikTok, you can see the video. Shout it out. Shout it out. My TikTok? Uh, Walt Knows no, no, no. Money. No, no, no. I'm talking about your YouTube all that. It's all Walt Knows Money. Walt Knows yeah, Money. Yeah, Walt Knows Money on all platforms. You Y'all go check to waltknowsmoney.com and yeah. tap on any of my social media. Yeah, because that's where you can find all the information right. about uh, D- Man, D-E-F-I. DeFi. I'm making DeFi. The, I'm making the website with the phone. Like I got the I, I can go in and switch it right now on my own. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And if you need a website real whipped up real quick, I'll do it for you. $150. I hey. want to open up that stream of income too. Ain't nothing wrong with that. A lot of people want to get business credit, business funding, and don't got a website. Like that's a that's an easy way to help you get a so I gotta a ask you a dollars. question about that too, because somebody just told me that uh somebody just told me even with like when you want to get business credit or you want to get certain loans and shit like that, like uh, they look for like okay. They ask. They ask you for that. What's your website? What's your uh, number? You, see you can't even use cell phone. You can't use a cell. They you don't supposed to have a cell phone. You supposed to basically have an eight hundred number. Well, you get a hard. I mean, if you got location, you can just get an extra phone and you good to go. But everybody don't got access to that, so you can use the one eight hundred. But even voice. But even when people say you, they really kind of look for like a brick and mortar. That's what they want. That's what they want. That's but, what I'm saying. But it just. It ain't that way all the time. But a system, but a, but if you're trying to get a loan or something like that, a system will kick your ass out because uh, that's not a... To, look, I know how to kick your ass in. With the system, <laughs> no, real shit. If, if you know when you go in and log in, there's different things, and it says log into this new app with your bank account so it can read your bank account, right, and know that you who you are, whatever. Mm. That's called Play. That's the name of that company. It's called Play, Plaid, however you want to pronounce it. Mm. It reads your bank account. So what you do... It's like is, a true bill, right? It's basically, yeah, it's like a, it's like a true bill, yeah. So it reads your bank account. So you can't say I'm making 2K deposits a week, a month, 
and then the actual system they use and going to read and see your ass is negative 12 cents. Okay. Right? Right. But now if you know how to play the paperwork, you can take two bands and put it in and out your account and pay yourself and pay your other accounts from this account showing the deposits and withdrawals. So when yeah. that computer... It's like, oh, okay. Because that's it. all they're looking for is the... Verification of the deposits and withdrawals. And also it's a lang it's language. It's a lot of us don't know the fucking lingo, language. Yeah. The lingo to some of this shit. And they be like, oh. Because it's fine. And my people... Some of, exactly. Some of my people putting me on this and I'm like, damn. Hey, I got one for you. Now finance. let me say... No, no. Go ahead. Hold on, hold on. Because my man, he said... I say, man, I got the podcast. I got an entertainment company something like that. Right? He said, no, nigga. He said, no, <laughs> you are a marketing solutions company. Ooh, yep. I said, Wording, yeah. I said, that shit sound amazing. Yeah. And when you break it down and when you're talking to some of these people and, and uh, when you're getting business credit or you, like, it's like Capital One, something like that. They paper before they see you. Yeah, and they're going to say, well, what? Or, or when you talk to an underwriter or something like that, that's they say, word. that's a word. You hear me? <laughs> I, 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 I come on now, you. come on! I know a little something. Yeah, that's and a show. they was he was like, uh, well, "What is this business? What do you do?" And you can't just say they has an entertainment company. I got a podcast, a media company. You I am a feel it. you. I'm a marketing solutions company. This is what I do. This is like this. I give people access to different ads and things like that. And he was he just broke it down, and I said, "Oh yeah, shit!" Make it make sense to it. And you you in now? Yes, sir. You know, like, I got an office on 79th and Yates, too. Come on, now. And it's, you see where that's at. Come on, now. But it's brick and mortar. It's at a physical location. And for people in the city that don't got one, we sell mailboxes. So you can have a physical location. Because you can't use P.O. boxes or anything no. like that. You can't use none of that you shit. You need a real you need a physical real. address. Yes. You can use yes. the post office, though. You can use the post office address. But that's going to still raise a flag to a certain, because underwriters going to, they gonna go through those that information and see yeah. what you really look like. Yeah, that's why you go ahead and structure it real quick, then apply for the loan. Because if you got the bread to set your business up properly, then you got a few dollars to put and open your business bank account and pay yourself and invest it. So let's just say you're gonna pay yourself five hundred dollars. Yeah, and then you're gonna invest that same five hundred dollars back into the business. Yeah. Now it looks like the deposits. So you can let's just say it's the same five hundred every day. What you making? Three fifty? Three fifty a week? Mm hmm And that's your income, but that's your liability, that's your deposit. And if you ramp it up, now you can say let's put a zero on that. You got thirty five hundred a month in revenue. Yes. You don't have to keep yes. the money in yes. there. Yes, it's just it just no. gotta run through. Yes. Yep. Cause you still got bills. And yes. they gonna say and like with the PPP, when I was helping people with that, what they don't understand is the SBA don't give out loans, they give out guarantees. So as long as you structured your paperwork right, you talking. They will talk. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me stop you. Say that shit one more time. What so about people, the SBA? Yes, that yes. They because, don't give out loans because the they say, "Man, the BBP loan. I got, I just got the loan." Yeah. No, SBA don't nigga. give out loans. They give out guarantees. That's why everybody got forgiveness because the government told the banks, "Y'all good. We got y'all." Because the SBA give out guarantees on the money. So whether you paid it back or not, the money was already good. So they basically just gave out hundred percent guarantees. So why they so why they come why they keep saying people go they coming for y'all they coming for y'all because the niggas y'all. was doing shit to get some cash and money. Yeah. They was scared. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. That's, that's why. True. I mean, yeah, they stay. You they even had them. real businesses that was hard hit that cut some corners and lied a little bit here that they needed the bread. You know how I mean? People are gonna do what they gotta. But do. if it's forgiven, but they tell you in the fine print, keep this information because we might come back around. And want to come see what the fuck happened. I mean, it's gonna be on. It's gonna either be like that. Uh, that not the ten thousand dollars, but the actual SVA loan that people think was a loan. That's on people credit. So think about that. You know what I'm saying? You have the PG personal guarantee that I'm gonna pay this money back. So you still on the hook for those. The S the PPPs was for a business. And if you know anything about finance, you can start an LLC, get a loan, and bankrupt it. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can go run yeah. up a hundred k and then. Bankrupt the company. Yeah. Throw it in the garbage. But it's not that easy far as what even uh, just getting business credit because I'm actually going through that now because they still want. Hold on. Because they still want if you ha if you have if you have not established anything under your business. Mm -hmm. Right. They still want your personal Correct. information. Now, if your personal shit ain't right, they ain't giving you no rhythm. 
Straight like that. So you still got to have your shit in order. That's a cheat code to that, though. Is it? Yeah. Well, well you have one to is cash. Me, I one is cash. So just to say the bank you're trying to get the, the, con, the card with the credit. If you have that money in there, if that's no, what you're saying. Just put it in there. Let's just say you put $2,700 in the bank. Right. And then you tell them to give you a secure credit card first. Same, for business? Same trick. The same. For trick. business? Yes. Bank of okay. America, you do it all the time. Specifically. But all you got to do is shop around. You can go to a credit union. Just shop around. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's the one way. Put Navy Federal is good for that. Yeah. Put the cash in there and just get the secure loan. They're going to report it. It's going to go on there and you just use it. Bam. So that's one way. The other way is you can uh get, you can write, you can make your own trade lines. So this is law. You can use the UCC. And let's say you got more than one business, right? I only have one right now. Okay. Let's say you started another one to do it. Deals with. Yes. You could use the main company as the one that's extending credit to the new company. Yeah. Or vice versa. And then once you lay the paperwork down, the paperwork is going to report on the public record. Like you're going to file public documents. Right? A mm-hmm. Co- couple fifty dollars or something like that. You're going to file a couple, uh, public documents. And when they go and look and see what type of loans and debt that's out there in the name of these businesses, it's going to pop up as a lien and liens are not bad unless they are not paid basically right so other than that it shows that somebody extended you some credit and you can put whatever number you want that because remember money made out of thin air and then also uh uh what i am learning now on the business side is just because you have the llc it's more shit to that s corps things like that that's one status right that's one status but you could put something you could put all these businesses under one fucking umbrella. Which is what? Which one should that be though? Because that's the that, that's the tricky part. It's that's not. the what? the unknown part. Okay, go ahead. The trust. The trust. Because the trust, you don't got to register the trust with the state. Now, that's what you see how I flipped yeah. that into going into the trust or, and everything that you got going on. It, okay, so it now all go together. That's what I'm saying. So <laughs> now that's what I'm saying. So far as with you wanting people to actually. Put what you're pushing and giving the knowledge to these different type of trusts. It's on okay. So just so on the trust side, there's only two types of trust. There's a revocable trust where you can switch up the rules and rewrite the paper if you want to, and then there's the irrevocable where once you lay it down, it's law. That's what it is. Okay. So you would use the irrevocable for family legacy shit that you want to you want to come back from the grave and tell them this that uh-uh. and then revocable is more like business. Because at now and then in business, you got to go and what? Make adjustments. Mm-hmm. And that's what that'll be for. And other than that, they just going to hold assets. So just like your bank account holds your cash, your trust holds your entities and your assets, the title to your assets. And what I'm working on is equity stripping, though. So that's still just more paperwork. So even though one LL, my holding company actually used the shit, mm-hmm. the trust actually got the rights to this shit. See what I'm saying? Gotcha. Like the truck, gotcha. like a truck company. Yeah, your truck company should which is never. My guy, which my guy, my guy owns. He, uh, he good sh- truck. The company. truck oh. company should not own the trucks. You following me? The truck company should not own the trucks. The trust fund should own the trucks and lease them to the truck company. Because mm. when shit happened, or if it happened, or when it happened, whatever, the trust owns the trucks, so the trust can always. Get the trucks back, whatever the case is. And if this business gets a bad rap or fuck up, you could shut it LCLC down, set up another LLC truck company, and send the trucks back. That's how they do franchises. Ooh. You see what I'm saying? Because you got to think, the franchise ain't Subway. Subway is run by ABC LLC. The mom and pop. Awesome. You learning something over here? <laughs> you learning something because look, he, he I, I've heard it and it, it's not foreign to me, but it's just far as with the time with somebody either or even me doing my due diligence of going to look oh, for the information, the somebody breaking it down who has done the reading and say, well, this is, this, this, this. go check it out and go see if this information is accurate and get what you picked up from. Right. And then we're going to go back together and build because you still going to see something. That I didn't see, cause you looking at it with your eyes. Yeah, you know, like you can you see it with what I'm telling you. So I'm describing. That's giving you more clarity. Yeah. And when you actually go look at it for yourself and see, like, okay, this is what he's talking about. Let me see what this is. And you actually you're like, okay, now you're seeing it. The next step is you actually 
doing it. And that's what I teach yeah. in all my way. Anything yeah. that I teach, if I'm teaching you etymology, I'm teaching you credit, business credit, if I'm teaching you about the different laws or fucking chakra spirituality, whatever I'm teaching you and sharing mm-hmm. with you, I want you to get the fundamentals first. Then I want you to get the technicals because it's always some text in the game, right? Mm. So you need to be able to respond, react. Yeah. And then I want you to work on the practicals because practice make perfect. And if you're dealing with financials or documents or contracts, you always want to perfect it, mm. right? See, when you when you hit perfect, you're thinking it got to be 100% right and correct. That's what people think about perfect. But perfect really just means to do it. If you perfect the lean on somebody, if you perfect it, you're just doing it. Yeah. But that's why practice make perfect, and that's why lawyers and doctors and X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z practice their craft. They mm. say that, right? I'm in the medical mm. field. I'm practicing. I'm practicing. I'm practicing. And I Iverson didn't trick these motherfuckers told they we're talking about practice. Hell yeah, we talking about <laughs> practice. Shit. Yeah. Cause if you don't practice, your ass gonna play like a scrub and shit when the game starts. What you talking about? Ah. Am I wrong? You're right. You're right. You're definitely right. I love to see him say that shit and he was on the bronze team just to see how it would have went down. Talking about man, fuck practice. Yeah. But he was the franchise player, so you know, entitlement. That's all that was. But that you know was. that's not what he really no, he can't right. not, cause his ass gonna go bust his ass and you go, feel. go get that chip. What you talking you about? Feel. You feel? Yeah, man. Um, it's different types. I was looking on the website, man, and we was breaking it down. When it was breaking down, I saw a lot of other things. Uh, what is that? P P. Uh, you said it's. I have to look it up. Don't quote. Don't quote me on this. I have to look at it. Hold on. on. My site. Yes, it was okay. on the site. It was on your site. Give me one second. Let me see. Mm. I don't want to fuck nothing no, up. That's all good. I don't want to fuck. Dot com. It's right there. Yes, sir. And you're basically breaking it down like the uh, the the, uh, the block right the blockchain okay, yeah. the blockchain and things like that. And it's giving me all this type of wallets. That's what it is. I'm sorry. Okay. The uh, what's that? Para per- algo wallet. Para algo. Para algo wallet. Uh, wallet. Mm-hmm. Then you got the Y coin wallet. Then you got the trust wallet. And then you got the MetaMask. They all like Cash App. They just hold crypto. That's it. They all just like Cash App or Venmo or whatever. They just hold crypto. So you send and receive from your wallet to my wallet. That's all that's for. But with crypto, because it's not, crypto's not a thing. It's a program. It's computer language. It's computer technology programmed in to make it do what it do. Follow me? Right there? I'm here. All right. So it's programming your money. You cannot program a dollar bill. You can program cryptocurrency. Like right now, I pull my laptop out. I could make you a million Gotti coins, right? Mm-hmm. And then you can take $100 in paper, put it with that 100 coins, and now that 100 coins, or maybe whatever I said, has the same value as that cash mm. all together, though. So you need all the coins mm-hmm. to be worth $100. But imagine if you go and spread the coins out amongst your fans and followers or whatnot, right? Yeah. The more that they come and get them, that hundred dollars turns into three hundred, four hundred, five hundred because they're interested. So you know how your numbers and subscribers go up. Now you eating and they eating because they're showing that they're invested in you, and they can swap it back out and cash that shit out if they want to. That's the part that we got to work on with you, seeing how you yeah. put your money yeah. in, yeah, and how you take your money out, yeah. And yeah. Cash App is the easy place for everybody to start because you got Bitcoin on your Cash App. Yes, you do. So you just can, like you got the stocks and stuff like that on there. So you can and remember. And I have and I have invested a stocks? couple things on the stocks what through the Cash App. I act that like the WWE the, the, the shit that I you know. Like. Look, that's the shit what that I so, like. That's what you supposed because I know to it's in. never going anywhere. That's it. it. It's all year round, and and actually I hit big to be honest with you because when it was in the um, when we was in the pandemic. And they didn't have a crowd, they didn't have a fan base, so they was cutting back, and they was just using the uh, center. Streaming and stuff. Oh. Yeah, they was using the TV screens and streaming and things like so that. They were saving money. They were saving money, but when they hit, when I, and, I, and that's when I bought, because all the stocks was low. When I tell you, when I tell you, when they went back to the arenas for WrestleMania, they things flooded. like that, nigga, nigga. That's a technical, though. What you mean by technical? So... You follow it, right? Yeah. So that's a fundamental. 
because you understand the news of it, the business yes, of it. Yes, 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 yes. The yes, technical yes. part of it is you talking about the price and then the the business went up, right? Because the mm. revenue and everything. Yes, yeah. That's the technical part because the revenue can go down even if they did do all that new stuff. Would you still be proud of this comp- the business? You know what I'm saying? Well, it did. It it it, it, it fluctuated. did. Fluctuated. It went down. Yeah, uh, every because it gives you it breaks it down day by day, the week. The week month I love it. things like that yearly all that so i'm just like and something clicked in my head like we ain't gonna be in this bitch forever we ain't gonna be in this pandemic forever yeah. they're gonna have to go back on the road so i said let me put this little 10 let me put this little 10 you know what no fuck it no let me let me put 200 dollars just right here i had it i just said let me just put 200 dollars right invest here. something you're not willing to lose for anybody that's thinking about investing, that's just how easy it is, right? Like, never front nobody if you're going to be venturing about it. You that's, know what I'm saying? That's law. That's, that, same, look, that's the law. the same one for yourself, though. Facts. Don't put your bread in there if you're going to be venturing about it, because guess what? Just like you want it to go up, guess what? You know it's going to go down, too. Yes, sir. So, Yes, sir. Yes, you know, sir. Play the, play the win. And when I tell you that 200, bro, turn into something. That's what it's going to do. I said, Whoa! So you telling me it's basically the same, but but right now, as we um, they say, if you listen to like different podcasts and things like that, different stock tips, things like that, they say Bitcoin is kind of phasing out. Yeah, Bitcoin but, is old news. It's, shit, it's like because I told you it's technology, right? So what makes you think that crypto is not going to be old news after that? Because the crypto is still new. So Bitcoin specifically, it's hot right now. It's actually, it's been around long as hell. It's just now public. That's it was like that they had the, what, what, they, the what they call it the dark the dark web. I mean, it's really the private side. Just call it the private side. Okay. Because you know the dark web is the big internet, and everything that we use is small. Crypto is made in there. It's just commercialized. It look pretty. The same place where they sell bodies and drugs and bride, you know, all that crazy shit on the internet that you got to know how to get to secretly. That's what the crypto world has been changing. You know, nobody control it. You and you know what's so crazy about that? It's hard to. It, it, um, I think I've seen because I, I, I'm into a whole bunch of different shit. I was watching like CSI Cyber and shit like that. You know what I mean? And they had an episode to where it was like they couldn't find the person who was doing all, all this type of shit. shit. You know what I'm saying? The hacking and things like that, and buying different shit and all that, and selling the computer shit is deep. They got everything that you know about in it. Think about it. That's every, computer crazy. technology got everything that you know in it. Yeah. It do what you think about doing. It can do it for you. You can build some technology to do whatever it is you want to do. They got sex bots, so we, let's cover sex real quick. They got sex dials. That's technology. Shit. You know what I'm saying? They got cars. They got planes. It just makes shit easy. You can't, you know, it just makes technology. That's why you focus on the technology part of the crypto shit, not the money part. Fuck the money part. Focus on the actual technology. Like, what does it do? Mm. And it gives you complete ownership and authority over your transactions. Mm. And it don't matter what the transactions is. Like, they're going to use this for the medical field. It's going to help with medical bills. And like you were saying, somebody told you what you was talking about. They were talking about credit is the future, right? Mm -hmm. So, I told you what money is. Told you what cash is. Credit. Credit just means to believe. It's belief. The moment somebody extends credit to you, it's because they believe you. Or they, you look good on paper. They believe the paper. Same thing. It's your paper. You, you, it's always your paper. You always have to apply yourself. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It's it's just as simple it's as that. It's clicking. Just, you got the wheels turning. Now. It's, it's clicking. Just as it's simple clicking. as that, though. Just apply yourself. Like how people want to get the information and apply the information. Yeah. Apply yourself to the information. That's you know, it's, it's about applying the pressure to you. If you don't hold yourself accountable, then what? You keep doing the same shit, keep bumping your head. Yeah. And wondering why things ain't working out for you, because you ain't working out for you. That's what it's all about. That's when I found self. So I'm big on self because if you don't respect yourself, another motherfucker not gonna respect you, right? That's a fact. And that's a pet peeve of mine. But I can't be down on somebody that just they ain't got it, the energy in them to hold their chin up right now. So I could do what I do, get them a pick up, pull them up, share information with them that it ain't over. You 30 something years old. You've been here. But Since a lot you of- came out the pussy, you done been through a lot. Yes. And you still here. I tell everybody this. You a survivor. You're you a whole survivor. Yes. Buck the fuck up. Let's go. 
you survive. <laughs> all that shit that you thought you did back it in the day the last when it was, the, it was it was it was like, man, I don't know how to make it, and you survive that shit. Now you don't even think about it. Nope. You think about a whole new problem, and that's the whole thing. Like a lot of people just think that what they are going through is who they are. And it shit is ain't. Because mm. I'm telling you, bro, but it's easy to fall into when you comparison to different comparison people. Comparison is the thief of joy. I forgot where I read it at, but shit, that's the quote. Say that shit. <laughs> comparison is the thief of joy. That is a fact. You know, the moment you compare yourself to the next individual, you already lost. But you know, it's it's just it's just now keeping up with the Joneses, as they used to say back in the day, like that's displayed on a daily that materialistic shit uh, get you got. Like, you got to think. The jewelry that I got is purchased through the business. So, instantly. Yeah, you, I know. I know. <laughs> so, so I, know. I know. Yeah. Feel this, me? So, yeah. And you know what I'm saying? I only use it, like, I would only use it for what? Events. It's it's, it's for, uh, what the hell is the word I'm looking for? It's accessories. For the, not accessories. It's for the show. It's for show. You know what I'm saying? T.I. said that on, on his show. He said, man, yeah, I bought the watch. Cause, Cause when I go into that, they like, how the fuck do he know, or how did he afford this? So obviously we can't lowball this brother because he already has this to get that. It's a status symbol, you know, or a strategy. I would say status strategy. Cause you prime example. Which one you think I'm in? You see what I'm saying? That's now. Ooh, I see what you did. I see what you did. Well, if we just standing there, and you looking, and you see it in my hand. It's like, oh shit! What you you gotta, thinking? You gotta. Oh, you, you. Especially if you don't know me. Now, if you know me, you just like you gonna be like, what's in? Or you gonna be looking for what I'm in? Cause you know. Yeah. That's crazy. And this one is just for play, cause I got the dealership coming. So we about to start doing this year. I said it on my YouTube earlier transportation and housing. So I got plays, I got opportunities with credit unions in Seaway Banking on 87th in the city. I got auto loans coming mm. and home loans coming. You got Section 8, you can use your Section 8 to buy a house. You can stop paying rent and use that money as your down payment on a house. Because I done seen too many people have Section 8 for a million years. A lot of people, a lot of us grew up on Section 8. I still got people with Section 8 shit. My mama, man, she can't have it no more. They told her she makes too much. <laughs> she, she, that, that off right there. I, I, I'm putting yeah. the money in the system and I can't use it. That's the part I don't like about the system, though. You put, you giving, you doing your give, and now when you want to get, it's some red tape, red flag, don't qualify, right? Yeah. That's the part of what crypto going to come in at, though. Crypto is going to help decentralize the government's control on how shit regulated. Like, think the government run on taxes. Taxes are voluntary. Nobody has to pay taxes at all. No man, no woman. Shit. Had, you get locked up. Quit. See, that's why people don't. That's why people still paying taxes because somebody keeps saying that. That shit not true. But you. But it's you know what? what you do. It may be. It may be only for. How can I say? It's that? not what you do. It's how you do it. Okay, break that down because Donald I Trump. have seen so many people. I have. I've. Ha I have heard. But it bite them in the ass later on. They, after so it. many, after so long, you go under with not paying taxes. Then they say you got to file all these, but they go, they find you. They can't find, first of all, they can't find what they don't know about. Let's start there. Right? They can't find what they don't know about. Hence your trust. Your trust is your equity, your value for the future. That ain't their business, right? And then the main thing, the people that's supposed to be paying taxes, are businesses, but the businesses benefit the most. And who's actually paying all the taxes? The people paying the taxes. So my whole thing is learn how to do your. Most people only know about write-offs, deductions. Yeah. You know, and then some. People but you still gotta about, pay something. Mm -hmm. Some people know about credits. There's exclusions and exemptions in the tax code and IRS paperwork, whatever. Exclusions and exemptions. That means there's two other ways for you to. Write stuff off and get money back. You could think if you put the right thing down, the government gonna give you what? They gonna give you money. They gonna give you a refund. Yeah, it's just the way that you, you the way you operate play with the paperwork. So this is why you want to have a business. This is why you want to pay yourself and pay your kids. And I this did. is why you want to do all of these things. So when it come December, yes, because if you do pay your yes, you, 
Come on now. I told you. I know a little something. I know a little something. Yeah, I know a little something. If I pay my, yeah, I pay my little daughter. Pay, pay her this. Pay her this. Do this. You know what's so funny? I'm going to be honest with you. I just did, I recently did like a, a, a hosting. You know what I'm saying? For, yeah, I'll be seeing you out there. This you see me? Yeah, I did a little something, bro. I did a little something. Did a little something. But. It fucked me up for a minute because I've been doing it. I've been dealing with us. Been dealing with us for so long. Mm -hmm. It's either cash, cash app, Zelle, things like that. Mm -hmm. Do you know, dealing with that corporate side, mm -hmm. they said, uh, excuse me, sir, what's your W-9? Mm -hmm. I said, W, I said, what the fuck? I had, to, I had to hit my assistant and ask her. I said, what the fuck is this? I know I looked it up first. Oh. Then I told her, I said, look, we need to get this W9 shit together. This and this, send this shit over to them. Yeah, because they got to keep track of their numbers. You feel me? And when I tell you, bro, when I got the motherfucking checks and I went to the, the actual bank oh. to put it in there, they said, oh. oh. Flawless. Okay. Flawless. Okay, yeah. yeah, we clear these quickly. Cause it's all it on was the record. It's all on the record. It was different. It fit it. For, you know, you know what? It felt different because it came from a corporate business or something like. It, I've never they got would, a check they, from a corporate business. They ain't so, recognizing my check. They gonna recognize that check though. What you mean? If I write you a check, they gotta clear. Not even you gotta clear. The bank gotta clear. Yeah. Because it'll be, even if it's from my business. Yeah. It still gotta clear. But a certain check come through, it's gonna clear right away. It's gold. Especially uh, investment checks. Like if you get a check from Charles Schwab and E Trade, shit like that, mm -hmm. those are gonna clear. If you invest in your stock directly, like you could send $100 in the mail to McDonald's and they'll send you your receipt back in the mail. You could invest in the stock like that where well, nobody knows, just you and McDonald's uh, uh, in the mail. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? And they'll send you, you'll be like, you can send them a letter, I wanna sell 10 of my shares. And they're gonna send your McDonald's check back. It's just a lot of ways to do this shit. But the word finance, because I've been wanting to tell you this. Go ahead, go ahead. The word finance means extortion for ransom. That's why I'm so good at it. Let it sink in for a second. Yeah, it went over my head. Go ahead. I ain't gonna lie to the you. The word finance. Finance. Means extortion for we ransom. We talked about this. Yes, okay, it's coming back. We talked about this. Everybody's not financially literate. Finan That's true. Finance is how you extort. That's taking and distributing. No, yeah, that's no ransom. Ransom is the take and distribute. Extortion is the. Damn, I forgot it that quick. It's in my mind right now. I'm looking at it. Extortion, take and distribute, and ransom is give and take. Some shit like that. Stick or something. I wrote it down. But it's simply that we go to the restaurant. Same example I gave you last time, I believe. If we go to the rest of the fast food restaurant, we got to give them what? The cash. Yeah. For the food. Yeah. If we go somewhere else and sit down, we're going to extort the kitchen for the food, and then they're going to get the cash. Follow me? It's the transaction. All transactions go down like this. You got to give to receive. Who's giving first? We are. But if you put yourself in a position to, you know, give first, then you're going to always be able to, like we started the conversation, receive first. Yes, sir. Now, financial literacy, the literacy is the reading and writing part. So you know what finance means now? Extortion for ransom. means you could trick them up without they shit. Right? Or yeah. take it or however you get it. You, yeah. You're financing them. Yeah. Then liter literacy. No different than cars, things like that. All then like literacy that. is that reading and writing. I'm extorting you out your shit on paper. Do it because I know you don't, you don't get all the mumbo jumbo lingo. So I just need you to sign here, sign here. You agree to this. You got this. And make sure you who you say you is. Now just sign this, sign this. Because I'm about to go take this paper and finesse it. Because that's what they finesse. That's what they selling. Paperwork. That's all that people were selling. Paperwork. You get a record deal. What you really? What's where the money at? Mm. Where the money come from? That contract. That contract hold all the value of anything you gon' get or don't get. Yeah. Yeah. So does the title to the car. So does the lease to your apartment. So does you see what I'm saying? It's all and that's what manifestation. Anything that you see manifested, it's got paper on it. This location got paper on it. Each of these items in here. The production tools, they all came with a receipt from a factory, from transportation, blah, blah, blah. All oh, that's manifest. That's the manifest. That's the record. How I got here today is destiny, right? This is a long time coming, but we yeah. manifested this. Yeah, yes, time, sir. date, when, where, how, 
and now it's here. So the quicker you get to manifesting, shit just gonna happen. Like this about to be a good week because yesterday was supposed to be a good week and I looked at it as a bad week because everything went down and lost a little bucks or whatever. But as you know, the next blue day come across, it's a new day, it's our birthday. That's so a fact. Today, we up 5%, right? So that's, and it's the beginning of the week still. And the energy feel different. That's the Your move. energy feel different when you when you wake up and you recharged again and you like, I had another day to do some better shit. Be newer, be and better. And you never know what's gonna come. That's the thing, it, you never know what the day gonna bring you, especially with knowledge. Like you do, like you like you're trying to. I see why you want to get this out, it's because a it's a lot. It's so much. I still ain't told you. About. <laughs> so my YouTube and my TikTok, yeah, I'm all knows money on all platforms. I got a video of me having my spiritual awakening. I was possessed, like this some spooky shit. When that first happened to me, it was some spooky ass shit. So I'm tapped in spiritually now. I be seeing shit, all type of shit since January seventh of this year. You're not the first person that I had on here. I had my girl, um, I had my girl up in here too. She's so really, she's really about, that. Right, yeah, so yeah. since January 7th this year, I've been straight on some next level shit. I'm cut it to you straight. If you can't see it, then that's on you. I gave it to you. You gotta chew on it for a while, figure it out. I'll come back to you. Cause there's other people that I gotta help give this guidance to. Let's yes, say. Sir. Yes, sir. That's now that I see it. So in my office on 79th, that's where it happened. It happened in the office. I was looking at one of my quotes or something I wrote on the board. And it said, if it don't make dollars, it don't make sense, right? Mm. And then I asked myself, finally, finally, what the fuck is a dollar? What is a dollar? Because now that I've been having this energy, I've been looking at words faster, like, man, what the fuck shit mean? And then putting it together with this. And a dollar is a household god of pain. A household. How the hell did you find that? Because the word, D, first, all words derived damn near from Latin from us, right? So. Any legal word or word that you know is a frequency, a letter, make a sound, blah blah blah. But the sound make a reaction. If I say money, it'll it give a, it, it got a frequency too. If I say cash, it got a frequency. If I say mm-hmm. live, die, all got a frequency from the sound. So with this, I just was like, what's a dollar? Look it up. D O L means a single unit of pain. L A R, household god of family. And by me knowing Spanish, I know how words can be reversed and mean something else. And, you know, you can play with words and say mm-hmm. all type of things. But mm-hmm. in Spanish, everything it reads backwards. But it sounds regular. You know, like if I say blue car, I'm going to say car blue in Spanish type of thing. You see what I'm saying? Mm. That's how it works. So with this, I just like, okay, if the dollar is a household god of pain, that explains... Why everything is always about the dollar, but dollar and it has a negative on it when you say that, right. and then they but then you get them. Well, shit, everything's starting to click right now because if you're saying what you what does dollar mean again? One more House, time. Household god of pain. Okay, household god of pain, right? When we think of God. We don't think negative. Some people don't. Some people do. Some people don't. Some people do. But when you think that, it's like, then they say money is the root of all evil. Not money. The pursuit of it. The grind. The hustle. The go get. That's what I make a motherfucker do whatever they could think of to get it. The pursuit. The hustle. That shit will make your best friend turn on you. That will make your girl lie to you, steal from you. That will make your kids steal from you because they see their little $20 hanging on your dresser. So the pursuit of got to get it to make you do some How many people you know, honestly, that it sold they soul, basically? And when I say soul, watch this. I got two words. It's your soul right here. Okay. People think they soul inside. The soul of your gym shoes protects your body from the, the world, the ground, the dirt, right? Mm. The soul of your body, your vessel, is your flesh, your epidermis. This shit taking water, you feel it wet. It take heat, you feel, you know what fire feel like. If the wind blow, you know what? This how you done learn right here. You got yeah. holes in your ears, your eyes, the windows, the windows to the soul. You heard that forever. 
So this is another way, like the world, the universe is turned inside out. And until you can see it, that other degree, I ain't saying don't see it the way you see it, but be knowledgeable enough to look at it from a different perspective. Well, you tapping into a lot of shit, bro. Shit, it tapped into me. Yeah. I'm still <laughs> there with my head caught on fire. I fell out to my, I died for a couple minutes. And when I came out, I just was like, what the fuck is going on? That life experience yeah. is different, bro. But I love it now, though. Yeah, because you you were really tapped in. But I had to balance this shit out. I was trying to tell my little sister what happened to me, right? But it's too. It, some people can't. Some people ain't ready for that information. Cause I wasn't. I wasn't when I had my girl uh, Adia here, man. And when she was just bringing shit down, I'm just. She was like, "Yeah, I see spirits. I see my what's going." On? I'm like, "Okay." And some people might think that's that's crazy. It is crazy though. Crazy mean exciting. That's why I'm the nigga with the words. Cause I'm bringing the word. I want you to know the word. So when I'm pushing you shit, I want you to be able to catch that frequency because I'm making sure that you understand the word. We just put we just put a lot of value on certain things and that makes it that can make a that can make it negative or positive. Exactly. Cause everything so payment, everything is a negative every you can't start your car or drive your car unless that battery got a what? A negative and a positive, positive. charge. Well, well <laughs> my, my dog, my dog, my dog. Wow. I'm telling you. Wow. But your body got the same wow. thing in it. Wow. A negative and a positive charge. So if you don't protect your energy, you're going to go off. And like we said, once you know what money is and you know it's your energy, you got to control it because that shit will hurt you. That's what happened to me last year. I was doing very well. And it was I was smelling my own ass. And I fell off. And just start taking L's after it. I'm taking L's, not just, oh, it's going to be okay. Let it give it some time to fix itself. I took L's. And then that's what made me sit my ass down and fast. But that was the lesson, though. That's not really it. It's, well, it's a lesson. I'm talking about the shit that I was coveting and wanted and doing yeah. was the shit that I needed to get rid of. So I lost it because it wasn't for me anymore. And now everything that I'm gaining now is for me. And it's for keeps. Everything I touch is for keeps. I told you I lost that seven to fifth bands. Yeah. That was all profit that just went away, right? Everything that's left, guess what? That's still profit. Every dime that I touch for the day I die from now on to be profit. You hear me? I hear it. That's I hear it. The, that's it. Every dime I touch from the, this day forward will be profit. And it's already been happening, but just so far on the record. Yes, sir. Yes, you know, sir. And I want to give other people that power because it's energy. It's all energy. And currency fiat currency your paper your dollars fiat the word fiat means to become fiat currency currency I'm is look it up. currency is energy so fiat currency means to become energy the dollar in your pocket remember you don't got no money and somebody bless you or you do some work and get that check that cash guess what you got all of a sudden energy you can go mm-hmm. do this you can go do that but before you had that cash that value nobody somebody gave you that value you know, yeah 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 that's why yeah. you but that's the shit that this the spiritual part of money right here. People don't see that these dead people, these numbers that's on there, all of this shit, this all is designed to keep motherfuckers in the in the loop. Cause what you gotta do? Go to work for what? The check. What you gonna do with the check? You're gonna cash it. It's pennies and fees on that. And then when you cash it, what you gonna do? You're gonna go pay your bills. That's why I'm showing people private banking. So before you pay your bills, pay yourself first. And then you borrow from yourself. And pay the bill. Because once you pay the bill, you're not going to see the bread no more. Yeah. But if you put it in your own private bank, lock it in, secure it, then borrow whatever you need to do to go pay off what. Yeah. It's going to still be growing. The equity still there. The value still there. Yes, That's sir. the key for the rest of this yes, year. Sir. I'm going to run up. I'm going to run up 100K using this strategy yes, for the rest of the year just to show people. Just to show people. Man, bro. Bro. I, we got it. We I know you two. full of information, yeah. but we full, I got to get this game in because I got to see I got to see how fast and witty you are, and I already know you are. But we got to get this game in. It's called the 10-name game, man. Right here. So basically, uh, this is a 10-name. It's, it's called the 10-name game. And basically, I'm going to fire off 10 things or 10 names. You got to give me your answer and a one-word answer. So. You ready for it? So it's just one word it's answer. One word answer. You ain't got to say it fast, all but right, you got to. Right. You can think about it. So say if I say, say if I say, walk. The first thing that come to your mind. Money. Boom. That's that. That's how I get. That's, that's, <laughs> that's the game. That's the game. All that's right, the game. You ready for it? Let's go. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Love. 
women, cash. Fuck it. Those ain't words, but it's good enough. No, no, that's, that's, that's what you feel. That's what you feel. Mm, the system. Oh, I am the system. I rigged, rigged is it, but it's rigged with me in it. Self rigged. There we go. Self self rigged. Therapy. Hmm. One more. Got to be one more. I know that's. I won't say. Got to be one more. Reading. Hmm. Prison. Hmm. Blast. Whoa. Mm hmm. I've never heard that. Yeah, I'm grateful. Gotta be. I could have took that shit and sat in there like like you know how many people sat around doing nothing on the phones, just doing nothing. I'm in there every day at a table just like this with accounting books and Spanish books and all type of notebooks for years while niggas ain't doing nothing. So I had a blast. I damn it was that I college myself. It was different. It was different. But it's cause cool. of me. You know, cause it ain't on me, it's in me. College. Jail. <laughs> Materialistic things. Hmm. Temporary. Black women. Goddesses. Hmm. I feel that. I feel that. Frequency. Sound. Energy. Currency. I'm gonna give you an extra one. Cause you 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 went through that. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna give you an extra one. My last one is your life. Family. I knew you was gonna say something like your that. Life. Family. It's your life. Family. Family first. And remember, it means to be of service. I, I'm a nigga. I love to be of service. I like to be in shit. I like to be. I like to make deals. I like to see people smile. I like to help out the less fortunate shit. Cause I'm the less fortunate to somebody that's more fortunate, ain't I? So somebody could pull me up. You know. Have it up. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> shit. Yeah. Bro. You know we hit on a lot of points. Here. Yeah, we're going to come back and touch on them again. I got to come back here. I no, you have to come back. Yeah, I no, 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 no. You have to come back. No, I'm telling you, you have to come back. I am. There it is. I because am. it's more shit that I need to know. And you make you made me feel like I'm on to something. You gave me energy. That's all you need. Yeah. And that's really the information. Did he give you some energy today? I probably learned more in this this one this one hour podcast than I did all in all in school, all my all my all my years in school. They don't teach this in school. That's why we got to build our own. That's a fact. And that's, that's fact. why I started with the wealth class. So anybody need some wealth knowledge? Wealth classes start in September 9th. It'll be ninety nine dollars. That's it. They can spend that on everything else. <laughs> yeah, and, look, and if you come to the class, I'm going to end up showing you how to start paying your bills for well, not pay your bills basically, and let the assets pay your bills. So that's what I'm using the crypto for. Like I make one percent an hour. So let's say the account got seventy five hundred dollars in it. Ten percent is what seven fifty. So if that motherfucker move one percent in sixty minutes, I just made seventy one dollars in an hour. So I watch the chart, the one hour chart. I see how I want to see how it roll for sixty minutes. Mm. Long as it hit. A percent, which it do for me usually, I know whatever I got on deposit, I just check one percent, and I can check that when I want to. Bro, tell tell everybody how they can get in touch with you again, man. WaltonKnowsMoney dot com. That's it. That's all you need. And if you want to Facebook, YouTube, it's gonna be the first thing you see after you look at those money bags. Hello. That's why I put two two bag. I put two bags on my name for a reason. And you got the sensor on your mouth. You got the sensor on you. Hey, that's something I, I know what that means. Y'all already know where to find me, man. Official underscore Y U N G Gotti, man, on Instagram. Uh, and on my other Instagram, official G World Media. That's where y'all can find all my content, everything that I do. And uh G World Media, man. Make sure y'all subscribe, 
like, and comment. That's where you can find all my dope interviews and hear shit like this. You ain't really going to get all this shit from nowhere else. So that's why everybody has to come on here to get this type of shit. Because it's me. It's me. It's Gotti, baby. It's me. God damn it. It's me. But uh, two things I asked from you, bro. Um, keep doing exactly what the fuck you're doing. Because you, you might scare some people off, but at the end, a lot of shit going to come your way. A lot of good energy going to come your way. That's all I want. I'll take some of the bad, too, because, you know, you got to take the good with, with the, the bad. bad. If you don't, then every time you get the bad, you're going to be so frustrated. You're not going to have the energy to enjoy the good. And the second thing is, bro, take care of yourself. Take care of yourself, bro. You had a big, a big accomplishment yesterday that you told me about. Yeah. And Fiji coming up. Hey, that's the dream spot. You free? So I'm gonna fly that soon. Huh? You free? You free? Yeah, I've been free. Shit. You've been free. You know what I'm saying? But now, but like this, freedom is not free. So everybody that's looking for freedom and financial freedom, freedom is not free. Like slaves running to freedom, freedom is not free. Freedom is a thought. Free is physical. Do it. Your body, your soul, you just be. That's free. Wow. Free is when you just be. Freedom is when you think about being. Think about that. I wish I could. Then you'll be. Then guess what? If you did that, guess what you feel then? You'd feel free. That's it. That's how we're going to end the fucking episode. That's it, man. Got his world. Got his world show. We did one. Got my man. Got my man. Yeah. Y'all know who he is, man. My man Walt. Yeah, Walt knows money with two money bags. With the two money I'm bags. I'm going to have a third one next year, 2023. Wait till you see this shit. I believe. I believe everything that you're doing, bro. You got me locked in, and we're going to work on this crypto shit. Because I'm scared of it. Zach, I don't know if you scared of it, but I'm scared of it. But I'm going to just take the leap and say, fuck it. You know, look, best trick I ever pulled. Got his world show, man. We did one. Walt knows best, man. Y'all look for him. Got his world. Yeah. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Hard body, got his world. We some mob bosses. Tune in, don't just come across. We do it all, y'all just for the talk. Might lose your mind when you hear these topics. No cap, think about it. Who you know going this hard? All real, all way, think about it. Best interview, so is this. We don't do oldest, that entrepreneurship. Come and link, join the viewership. Education, relationships, businesses, beauty clips. This is the Midwest takeover. Going over time to invent on focus. Bringing guests in from all over. Whole lot of game, we don't need a closer. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Hard body, got his world. We some mob bosses. Turn them else to lessons. We don't do the losses. Dedication daily, ain't no other options. Booking up these lots on every show we plotting. Pull up a chair, make sure you watching. Subscribe, get them notifications popping. Pull up all the champagne, we gon' get it poppin'.